spoken syllable necessarily. And every every writing system that has survived to this day and is a descendant of Brahmi script still maintains something very close to that model. Mm -hmm. Now in the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, this was the birthplace of the alphabet. Now um, it's interesting. Robert Brinkhurst made the made the comment that the Phoenician alphabet is not an alphabet, and I I would differ with that. The Phoenician alphabet is a consonantal alphabet rather than a full alphabet. That means only only the consonants. So in a in, in flowing speech, um, consonants are basically the interruptions between the vowels. Mm. So uh, in that sense, it was actually a very astute observation for somebody not to write the syllable, not to write words, but to listen for the interruptions in the flow and actually encode the interruptions as mm -hmm. identifying the speech. Mm -hmm. Now, in the, in the alphabets that came as descendants of the Phoenician script, um, all of them have developed to some extent to become both, um, both consonantal and vocalic. So this feature is actually is the fact that it was consonantal was true only in very early Semitic scripts, and not even Semitic scripts today are fully consonantal. They all have some integration of vowels. Are the, can I a quick question? Are the vowels 